So the women continue on the uneven bars. We go back to Elena Prudenova. Tim mentioned her string of fourth place finishes at the World Championships. Very frustrating. This was one of the events where she finished fourth. Probably her weakest, I'd say. She's struggling a little bit throughout this routine. Hasn't had a lot of training time since the holidays. But she is a fighter, I'll tell you. Her best quality is her toughness out on the floor. She's a competitor. What a feel. Struggled a little bit throughout the routine. There were some form breaks with her legs, but this was an exciting dismount, full twisting, double back salto. This is what they do well, clean landings, just a really slight hop. Had a disappointing vault. She didn't like it in 9.3, but still she was the leader after the first rotation. Now at the vault, it's Stephen McCain. Right now in fourth place and trailing Brett McClure. Now, we have to explain the story. Blaine Wilson is the top American gymnast, plain and simple. Wow. You know, this is Steve's vault, a, a double-twisting Sukahara. He's done it for a while. I didn't see him warm it up at all. He went about two feet to the left coming off the vault and almost landed off the mat. Yeah, that's one of the reasons why I thought there was no way he was going to do his normal vault here. Throughout all of the training, he's been kind of snapping his feet down a little bit early. He goes around the side right from the beginning, and that causes him to travel. You see his feet kind of go sideways there, and he just drifts over. Of course, when you land outside of that box there, those white lines, that is a deduction in gymnastics. So the top American, because of Blaine Wilson's status here today and in the second event of the Visa American Cup Series, the best score of these two would advance to the American Cup Final to allow Blaine Wilson a chance to go for a fourth straight American Cup. And that's if Blaine Wilson goes. If he does not go to the American Cup, the top American in both of these first two events here and in St. Petersburg, Florida, would advance to the American Cup. Back to Elena Prudenova as they announce her score here in Las Vegas. 9.5. That's a big score here today, and that should easily... On the uneven bars, we go to Morgan White. 1999 was a breakthrough year for her. She went to the Pan Am Games in Winnipeg, Manitoba, and won the whole thing. But, Al, even with her performance at the Pan Ams and her performance at the World Championships, she doesn't consider herself a veteran by any means. She said she's extremely nervous for this first competition of the year. Watch this coming up here. She'll do what's called a dorsal grip and then do an endo stalter right here. Very, very difficult. I, I, I've never seen another gymnast in the world do that, another female gymnast. That's how you make a name for yourself, right? Oh, definitely. Pushing the envelope. You know, oftentimes you don't really get rewarded as much as you should, but eventually it does. It does chip away and it gives you a name. She needs to put a whole lot of thought into this dismount. It's been giving him person problems. Actually, that was pretty good for her. Her coach, Mary Lee Tracy, likes it. Last year, Mary Lee coached Jenny Thompson to the American Cup win. Pirouette was good and it's open. You know, Morgan was saying before the competition that on the bars, that's the one event that she tends to hold back on. She said that her best quality is her competitiveness as an athlete, but she wishes that she wouldn't hold back so much on the uneven bars. She also says she's not really tight, and I tell you, watching her, she looks like Clean. she's one of the tightest, cleanest kids out on the floor. Nice handstand lines. Didn't start well in 8.612 on the vault, but she and Mary Lee Tracy have refocused and regrouped. And now they're announcing the score for Stephen McCain, a 9.1, as he tries to keep up with Brett McClure. The next falter, also from the United States, who's had a rough day, Jay Thornton. And we can't emphasize enough. 
these chances to reaffirm your status on the American team or break in to be a factor, to somehow get on that six-member team to go to Sydney. All these scores, all these impressions that you make, they matter so much. The style of ball we see from the women quite often. Yurchenko, laid out full twist. Jay's been doing that thing for a long time. You know, Tim, that landing had to have hurt. He said that was the one event that really would kill his Achilles. And he's really been quite afraid. Told me that he thinks that he could suffer a career-ending injury on this, and he says the landing on vault is what hurts the most. Doesn't look like that one hurt all that bad, but... Absorbed it well. Jay actually is capable of doing a double twist as well, but that Achilles has really hampered his training on, on this exercise. And this is something that he practices, who knows, hundreds of times a week, and to be thinking that you could pop your Achilles at any moment? Wow. And we're about to get the number for Morgan White as she tries to overcome a, an 8-6 start. And she's done that. She's back in the picture here in Las Vegas with a 9.5. And Mary Lee Tracy knows that every day is an emotional tug of war. Little ups and downs and bumps. See? Lessons to be learned in everything we do. Felt like giving up, didn't you? So did I. But I've been there too many times, Morgan, and I've watched. Never, it's never over till you hit that last event. 9.137 is the score for Jay Thornton. He goes back to check in with Stephen McCain. One more American to go. To go. And remember, he was the last minute substitute when the Ukrainian team had visa problems and couldn't make it here to Nevada. And Bretton McClure coming into this rotation was the number one American. A sign, how bad do you want it? Hangs in the gym. He says he thinks about it every day. Well, very nice ball. Good laid out position, small hop on the landing. It's going to definitely be enough to move him ahead of both of the Americans. The key to this vault is to keep your body as straight in the air as you can. Really not as good of a, of a bounce off of the horse as I've seen Brett do in the past, but he's very clean and that small hop on the landing. He's gonna take that one. So we'll get Brett McClure's score in a moment. When we come back, we'll find out if Amy Chow can keep up with the women's last minute insertion into the lineup, Tasha Schweikert. Back in Las Vegas, you're looking at Brett McClure. He's writing himself a pretty good story. The men have reached halftime. They've completed three rotations, and he gets a 9.2 on the vault, and that keeps him in the number two spot, but also keeps him as the number one American here in the men's competition at the RCA Gymnastics Challenge. After the first rotation, she was tied with Tasha Schweikert. Tasha Schweikert put up a 9.175. So that's Amy Chow's target right now. That's that's a walk in the park for Amy Chow. This should be a real treat. One of the best uneven bar workers in the world. Very new element for Amy. Beautiful combinations. You know, one of the things that Mark Young said she has struggled with is oh. conditioning. Just hung on. <laughs> He said it'll be a huge success for her to get through this entire routine. Wow. Could you imagine how valuable she could be having been through the Olympic battles under this guy, Bella Caroli's guidance? Could you imagine what she could do for a Morgan White and maybe a Vanessa Atler when Vanessa gets back healthy? Well, that and the, the There's no pack, substitute I mean, for yeah, experience when you've been there and you've done it and you've come out on top. Beautiful combinations. Look at the stalder work. As Tim said, doing some of the best work in the world connects into a release skill, into a second release skill in her transition down to the low bar. Just beautiful combination. She's never stopped training since the Olympics. I think that's important to know. Well, watch this. Look at how she like kind of reaches behind her head to grab the bar there. She found it. She's a very smart woman. She goes to Stanford, after all, wants to be a pediatrician. But right now, she is a gymnast in a very big way. There with her coach, Mark Young. 
And speaking of Mark Young, there he is living through every move of Amy's bar routine. And over his shoulder, you can see Bella Crowley. Obviously, he is extremely interested in how Amy is going to perform in today's competition. Relief from Mark.